Good morning, tubers. This is KLR Ryder here. Just going to make my uh, aquaponics setup video for the 1st of August. Actually, this is the 2nd. But uh, I had to clean up my yard this weekend before I made a video. You didn't want to see a mess. But anyways, this is, uh, I just thought I'd show this. This is um, was an old apple tree that was in front of my son's house. And it was hollow and it was pretty good size. It used to have like three or four different kind of apples on it. But it was just dying and was afraid it was going to fall on somebody. So we cut it down. I was going to just kind of make a table out of it. But you know how tables go out in the yard. People start piling stuff on them. So I decided against that. So my wife said, hey, let's fill it up with some... Uh, soil and we'll plant flowers and that's what we did and boy they've just taken off it's kind of weird um it's supporting a lot of life too there's uh i don't have anything to show you now because i've been out moving around quite a bit with the mower and stuff but there's about probably a dozen baby tree frogs that are living here and you come out early in the mornings they're all on the edges of the stump and down the sides and in the grass and they run back up in here so it just goes to show you um you know how you can make kind of a neat little thing in your backyard out of something that you think that uh, is probably not all that uh, attractive. We were going to pull the stump out of the ground, but decided not to. Uh, and now it's just going to—I'm going to keep it until it eventually rots away, which will take a couple of years. Anyways, to get back at hand to the subject on what this video is actually about is uh, my aquaponics setup. You can see it over there across the yard. Um, it's been doing fairly well um, as far as gardening goes. My aquaponics is outperforming my actual garden. My actual garden uh, is been a little slow this year, but it's just now starting to produce. Well, it has been for just a little bit, uh, producing, uh, starting to produce squash. I've been eating radishes and those type of things out of it, but but uh, I noticed that a lot of my blossoms would I get tons of blossoms especially on my squash plants some of my tomatoes too um, they would disappear but there'd be no fruit and I noticed I never seen any bees or anything working it so I didn't know what to do about that but anyways uh, I had kind of let my yard go because this last month had been pretty hectic and my grass was up about 18 inches and I come out here in the morning and honeybees would be everywhere it's by the thousands uh, in that grass and my garden has improved since then so I just cut it this morning and Hopefully, uh, they'll keep working the flowers and the plants. But anyways, let's get over here to the aquaponics. I took the shade cloth off because my lemon cucumbers are trying to grow up there. And the shade cloth is actually stopping them. So I took that off and they seem to be doing better now. But my beans, um, I've harvested quite a few beans off here. Probably maybe a gallon and a half of beans so far. In fact, I've had so many beans that uh, the last batch my wife and I cooked kind of went to waste in the refrigerator. We didn't eat them. So it just goes to show you how much uh, you can get out there. Uh, they're slowing down. Uh, some of the plants here in the front never did really that well, but uh, I think from here on I'm going to be concerned about saving seed. I saved some seed already. I wish I'd have brought it out here to show it to you, but I forgot and left it in the house. But I got a little bowl full of seeds and I'll get some more. I need to get about 200 seeds for replanting for next year. My uh, the fish in the system are doing real good. I added some I added some mosquito fish and uh, they're doing fine too. So anyways I think I showed them in the video last month that I have a little separate pond. Um, I didn't oxygenate that pond well enough and I lost a half a dozen or so mosquito fish in there and the babies so I started over so that's doing good again I'll show you that before we turn the video off but um, this is just a simple system and I've gone over it a dozen times I don't want to be redundant so if you are wondering what's going on here or what the requirements are or specifications it's, uh, you can watch some of my previous videos my strawberries have done real well this year they're kind of in a at the moment just starting to blossom again but uh, I've been eating strawberries off of them all summer long and pretty much maintenance free so and then of course you can see that these lemon cucumbers have grown up quite a ways I'm kind of taking this video at the wrong time of day so I hope the Sun doesn't 
mess things up. But anyways, so if you're just new to aquaponics um, and thinking about doing something in your backyard, there's a bunch of videos from, on this site from all different individuals who do things different ways and just take whatever you got and put something together and experiment that's what I did this is the second year and this system is really stable now and does real well but uh, I'd like to add to it a little hampered by finances at the moment but um, our summer vacations and stuff are finished they're behind us now so that expense has been taken care of so anyways I'll walk over here and show you my my little pond. The uh, one thing mosquito fish like is they really like duckweed, and they've been eating tar out of my duckweed, so I'm not growing as much as I wanted to. So I guess if I am serious about that, I'll have to get a separate thing without fish in it. But these are the water plants I've got. You can see the duckweeds in the center of it. I'm not really good with this camera yet. But I put these buckets around the outside because my dogs like to swim in it, so it kind of gives them a barrier to to drink. Anyways, I made a video this morning. It didn't turn out real well, but it's amazing how much life is supported by your garden. And I've had uh, we have these little little birds we call wild canaries there's I'm sure there's another name for them I don't remember what it is at the moment but uh, we've got several dozen of them here they've raised right here in these trees off to the right this, there and uh, they really like this area in the morning I had my pump turned off overnight because I was pulled up all the hoses and everything for mowing this morning and didn't run my sprinkler and this morning when I turned on my pump for my water going into my grow bits they were all over the top of this this cattle panel that's stretched over the top of my aquaponics and I counted over 20 of them at one time not counting the hummingbirds and the, some of the other birds but anyways I'll post that video it's not a great video it's a five minute video I had the wrong SD card in and I didn't know exactly how to zoom but I'll post that video below this this video on my actual website so if you're on my youtube channel you'll have to either find the video or it'll be one of these i've uploaded recently or just go to my website aquaponicstube.com and uh, you can see the video there but anyways that's the update for august 2014 and uh, thank you very much for watching and you have a nice day bye